it all started with an unexpected knock. I heard banging and I thought it was my neighbors banging, running up and down, playing and stuff. And then I kept hearing banging like urgent banging. Followed by this message from firefighters. It was like, you need to leave right now. If you guys are being evacuated. I'm like, for what? There's a gas leak. Tilly Holmes and her family left their house on Midville Avenue in North Seattle after Seattle DOT hit a gas line. There was a fire and it exploded and we lived down there. The explosion injured three Puget Sound energy workers trying to pinch the line. PSE's vice president, Andy Wappler, says they were sent to Harborview. None with life-threatening injuries, but some with burns. I've been in Puget Sound Energy for 12 years. I can't recall anything like this happening. Even after the explosion, what, baby? Tilly and her neighbors had to wait so. and watch as flames burned for more than an hour. It looks like they're fixing it, but that gas is really strong. I don't want you over here. Go over there. That gas is really strong. PSE said letting the leftover gas burn was part of the plan. And it looks very dramatic, but it's the safest thing you can do once the gas is leaking, especially outside, is just to let it burn. Now they'll investigate. As Wappler said, SDOT followed the correct procedure. Oh, they had done the 811 call before you dig, so we don't know why it hit the line. You're welcome to go back home. Yes. Unexpected for both PSE and the neighbors who watched this all unfold. I just hope our whole little community dinner is okay. And so we do have an update for you tonight about those three PSE workers who are in the hospital. We've learned two have been released. The third was admitted into the hospital but is doing okay tonight. As for the fix of the problem here, no word yet on wind crews will be wrapping up here. We do know that gas line uh, is getting fixed right now and there's no concern here to these neighbors any longer tonight. In North Seattle, Kelly Greenberg, King 5 News. All right, Kelly, thank you.